basically all it is is just uh, gymnastics rings that are uh, attached to your anchor point and then back down via pulley to a harness. You've seen a couple of pulleys. These are just straight up basic uh, pulleys that'll hold you know, your body weight. These guys are up to 420 pounds. So it'll just barely hold my body weight. Uh, you need some rope. It all depends on how high your anchor point is, but uh, you're gonna need enough rope to go uh, from your ring up to your anchor point and down to your waist twice. Uh, you're gonna need a harness of some kind. Uh, I'll put a link to this in the description. This is a pretty lightweight, uh, cheap, affordable climbing harness, but you need a harness with some uh, D-rings on the side. If you don't have the D-rings on the side, you can use carabiners or you can even uh, hook to your gear loops. You're gonna need a couple of carabiners. This way you're not gonna have to retie and tie knots. With carabiners you can just click in and out of the system. And then you're gonna need a couple gymnastics rings. Uh, these are plastic rings, you can get wood or plastic. The plastic is cheaper and lasts a little bit longer, but offers a slightly different grip. The last thing you need, you need a high anchor point. Uh, you can't set this uh, system up in a doorway very easily, uh, just because you're going from your rings up your anchor point and then back down, and you just need a high anchor point to make all that happen. Uh, I'm setting this up in my loft where I have a 15 foot ceiling. Uh, that's a little bit higher than you need, but you need some kind of high anchor point that's out of reach. At least, I would say, I, le I would say 10 feet. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is set up my pulleys and I'm gonna set them up up here on the ceiling of my loft and I'm just gonna attach those pulleys uh, to two little loops of line. So each pulley is gonna hang on a loop just like this. Okay, so I have my pulleys in place, and the next thing to do is to just run some line up uh, through the pulley, over, uh, down to the ring, and then attach the other side to my waist belt. And then uh, just a note on knots, I just tied the rings on with a simple bowline, um, pretty close to the ring, and then I tied the um, pulleys on just with a uh, kind of like a double slit, slip knot where the, where the knots actually lock into each other. All right, so the next thing you need to do is figure out um, how long to cut your rope. I've got the ring up my reach point here, and I've got this down at my waist, and so I'll cut it just about, like, about a foot longer than that. And if you're using climbing rope, you'll have some frayed ends that just need to be burned a little bit, just so they don't um, you know, fray and kind of go crazy in the future. Okay, now this part is the only really tricky part with this whole system. Uh, what you're trying to do here is you're trying to get your rings, uh, both rings, at exactly that same height over up up at the top of your reach, same height in relationship to that carabiner that's going to hook on your waist. This guy's all ready to go. Okay, so the 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 ring is tied on. It's up above the pulley. You can see what's going on here. Um, and what you want to do is you want to stand exactly in position. Reach up to your full reach, where you're going to be grabbing those rings and then pull that rope a little bit tight. A climbing rope will, um, ex uh, what is it called, extend a little bit. So you just wanna pull it kinda tight. And then uh, down here at your waist, just note exactly where that loop, that D loop is, that D ring, down here at your waist. So note where that loop is. And I've got that pinched right here. And what I would recommend is that you tie a knot like this. Just flip it over, flip it over and tie a loop knot. That way, you can come back with your carabiner, click into that guy. So what you've done is you've, you've held that down to just the right point, and you're just gonna take your carabiner and click into your V-ring. So you've done that on one side. If you do the same process on the other side, you'll be clicked on on both sides. Okay, so now you should have it set up. Uh, I guarantee you, the first time you do this, first time you rig it up, your rings are not gonna be perfectly even. It's just very hard to get them perfectly even. But get them as close as you can get them. Uh, you rig yourself up on those pulleys and it's pretty cool. Obviously, it is just a step on the way to being able to do muscle ups and a lot of gymnastics work, but I think it's very awesome to be able to sort of do those motions and get through those movements by taking off a lot of your weight with those pulleys. 
Yeah! So that's my how-to. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, post a note in the comments or a response. Give me a thumbs up down below if you like this video.